Hey there, I'm Jordan Verano with 3D Digital, and I'm here to show you how to turn a mesh into a solid part like this. Let's take a look at the beginning process. Here's our process mesh right here. And by process, I mean I've just gone through the... Uh, okay, SolidWorks, thank you. I've gone through the mesh prep wizard and kind of oriented it so that whenever I look at the front, it's... Uh, nice and even, makes it really easy for editing the part. And uh, all right, so how do we get started? Well, all this is gonna be done with lofts. And uh, so that means I'm gonna be making a lot of planes. And uh, if I look here, at this part, nope, oh, sorry. Let's look at this one right here. Look at all those planes right there. Yep, each one of those planes I did a sketch, you can see right there, loft 22 was just a little outline of where the mesh intersected the plane. And so that's only at a point. It's not a solid model yet. So that means that if I just put points there, say I literally put points, they would only be on the edge. So it's like a perfect tracing of a cross section of the mesh. And then I can come back through with a spline and draw a line all the way around like I did right here. And that would be a nice shape for my loft tool. And then with that loft tool, I just extrude it all along and give me a rough shape. I won't be doing a lot of different parts. If, you, if we zoom in here, where we were working earlier, see how that's kind of blobby right there? Well, that needs to be a nice uh, flat edge like you saw before. So what you would really do is just come straight down and forget about it. And then at the bottom, you can take a couple measurements with a pair of calibers or something like that and uh, find out how big that square at the bottom is. And then just draw a square or a rectangle, I'm sorry, and extrude it. And there, you have your base. Then from there on, you know it's accurate, and you don't have to deal with uh, trying to get loft to cooperate, since it's a very smooth kind of tool. Um, you might have some issues with how much processing has to go on, and when I, when I went through, when I finished the section, I would delete the mesh that was there. I would go back into the mesh prep wizard and delete that as if it was extraneous data and just totally trashed. I didn't need it anymore. Um, obviously that was a separate file. I'm not going to ruin my original mesh. It's always a good idea to back up everything and remember to save often. And uh, that helped everything go along quite a lot faster. And then for little details like this thing, uh, this looks like uh, some sort of uh, a mount to help this stay in place. I uh, just modeled it wholesale. I made a plane in the center of it and uh, traced it and extruded it both ways and then the same thing for that little cusset that comes off to the side. Why? Well because trying to do that with a loft would be uh, a pretty neat trick actually. It would be pretty difficult. And then once you have done all those you should end up with something that's really clean looking like that. And you go back and like on this part. Now it's just an extrude but you can see that I filleted it. Filleted it. Right there. And then you can see where there's some uh, rough seams right there. But uh, basically all I have to do is go back through and uh, smooth it. And that'll be it. That's all there is to it.